Hello, this is Paul from Fast Attack. In this lecture, we will go back to the instantaneous velocity problem we discussed before. But in these videos, we're going to focus on uh, the calculation by using the immediate definition. Okay, so first, how do you find the instantaneous velocity? Uh, we can find the average velocity first, right, and then take a limit. Okay, this is the average velocity. Of course, it was f. f is the position function, as we discussed before, right? So we have this f as a position function. Okay, so the numerator is the change in distance, change in position, and the h is the change in time. Okay, and uh, so this is the average velocity. Take limits, we go to the instantaneous velocity. Um, we have another understand, okay, and this uh, this uh, instantaneous velocity la later you will show, okay, from this graph is exactly the slope of the tangent line of the position function, which means that these uh, instantaneous velocity questions the problems were go back consistent with the slope problem exactly the same, okay. And then we're going to understand that why this is the slope of the tangent line of the position function. F is the position function. Uh, first, uh, look at the, this graph. Um, what are we going to find at the average velocity? Have a time zero, time a, go to time a plus h. So the average velocity between the time a and the time a plus h is using the distance change over the time change, right? So what the distance change is the position. The total position is f a plus h. This is the total position. The minus this position, this distance. So we will find uh, the distance between f a plus h and f a. This one, which is the numerator, is the position change, right? The distance change. And the denominator, of course, is h. So we can understand that. And this formula is just the average velocity during the time, this one. And how to find the instantaneous uh, velocity at a t equals a, we need to shrink, right? Or need to, need to uh, take h approach 0. So take h approach 0. Therefore, the distance gets shorter and shorter and the approximation gets better, and the limit is exactly the definition of the instantaneous velocity. And uh, why we said uh, is the instantaneous velocity is the slope of the tangent line, still the tangent line of the position function, we can kind of look at this graph. Okay. If this curve is the function of a position, which is f, and then the point, the time at a, the time at a plus h, can we see how do you find uh, the slope of the tangent line? The way the little. So h, can we going to find uh, this point? Yes, yeah, so we find uh, this point, uh, the position. So we can definitely find uh, what is the uh, this point and this point linked together. What is the slope? We're going to see. Here are the results. We can see the slope is uh, this formula. Can we compare the slope formula? with our aver uh, average velocity is exactly the same, which means uh, the average velocity is exactly the slope of the second line, right? And then you can see, okay, uh, the limit, of, so the limit of the average velocity is uh, the limit of uh, the slope of the second line, which means the slope of the tangent line. Therefore, Okay, and this is exactly the, the slope of the tangent line is here, is m, okay, is the same as before we discussed. Um, whatever, we have this formula. So how to use this formula to calculation? Directly find the, the instantaneous velocity. Now let's look at one question. So here the question. How to do, all we need to use the definition, right? The limited definition. Uh, is the same is similar as uh, the slope problem. Okay, here is the position function, and the another question is to find uh, the velocity at a time t equals uh, two. This is uh, a right, so a equals two. This is uh, a. 
So a equal two. We need to find that the uh, the instantaneous at two. So how to do the same? Okay, so I was going to set up the function first. I also set up uh, uh, f. I guess uh, equals. Uh, oh no, this is not x. So I have to change. This is t. We use the term t. So I set up. This is f t. Okay. So f t equals forty t my minus sigma t t square. So we set up the. We set up this function and the, the definition we can use this function. Okay. And then what is the velocity at time equals two? Which means what? Which means V at two. So this is the velocity at time two. We can do this. Use the definition is what? H approach zero, right? Okay, a little bit longer. And uh, this is the data axis H, data Y is F. This time I can use f. Is a is two, so is two plus h minus f at two. Data y over data x. Okay, this is the slope. The slope at the second the nine, which means uh, the, the definition. We just uh, use the definition. We get this. Now what do we need to do? Evaluate this. So how to evaluate? Uh, we evaluated the limited lot of terms. So now we need to plug f and then simplify everything. So I was going to plug in f. Okay, so a little bit. So this is evaluated. So I was going to evaluate the first, which is a uh, t replaced by two plus h right plug. So what do we get? We get a forty uh, two plus h minus sigma t. Two plus h square parenthesis. So this is the first term, and then minus f two. Uh, f two, you do calculation per log two, you will find that f two equals sixteen. I directly put it here. So this everything goes to a simple function. What do we don't going to do is simplify. So how do you simplify? Let me write uh, another paper. Okay. So write down here. So we're going to simplify up here. Okay, can you see? Okay, the, that one I was going to simplify is it this way. So the limit h approaches zero. A little bit longer. Okay, so we have uh, h on the bottom. So the first uh, distributor. So we have uh, a d plus uh, four d h, right? And then two minus. So he has a perfect square. So minus. Um, secret team, let me directly put it in. So this square is a four. Four times uh, secret team is uh, sixty-four, and the plus four, four times the secret team is a minus. Okay, minus sixty-four uh, h, and then is still distributed. So still minus. Therefore, we have minus secret team h square. This is everything up here, and then minus the sigma t. Okay, so we have now we're going to simplify from here, and uh, all we need to do is uh, to combine like a term, right? So now all we need to do h equals zero is going to combine like a term. You know. Which one is the like term, right? Okay, so this one is only one. We combine this and this, and the another is the constant number. If we do, what do we get? So this term is there here. So we combine this term first. 4d minus 64, we get a negative 24h. So this term is there here, minus sigma t h square. So a d minus sigma t 4 is sigma t minus sigma t is zero. Okay, so that's the numerator, this the denominator. So now I was going to uh, simplify again. So how to do h h we factor the h out. Okay, so I have a twenty-four minus sigma t h. Okay, so this is just uh, we can factor out. 
h and then what you do we just uh, divide it right so we can divide it okay so easy to divide out h after the divide the out h so we will get uh, here so negative 24 minus 16 times h okay and then is what this is a polynomial we can directly substitute directly substitute this zero so we get a negative 24 okay this negative 24 is the final result that's all thank you